to me, soldiers were the biggest, the biggest hero in the world, and I wanted to be part of that. I actually skipped a year of high school and graduated a year early just to join the military. I just always wanted to be a soldier. And being promoted to an NCO was very important to me. Um, my goal when I joined the military was to be promoted to an NCO prior to my four-year mark, and I made it. I got promoted just shy of four years, and I worked really hard for it. The responsibilities of being an NCO has changed me in a great way. It's made me pay more attention to my job. I want to become more proficient in my job, and even in other jobs. You know, I'm interested in all the training the military has to offer. Soldiers keep me motivated to, to be an NCO and to progress through the ranks. And with the responsibility of mentoring soldiers comes the you have to have the knowledge to teach the soldiers and bring them with you. You should, you, know, you should never be in front of your soldiers. You should always be either next to them or behind them, pushing them. You have a chance to mold every soldier that you touch, whether it's your soldier or someone else's soldier. It's made me take more pride in my job. It's made me take more pride in training. I'm all into training now. I want to know how everything works, you know, because I get asked that a lot by my soldiers. I've worked with so many outstanding leaders and soldiers and even peers, and I try to take a little bit from each, each individual that I meet, and that's kind of molded me to what I am. Family plays an important role in my military career. I, I would not be here without my family. Um, and I now have a little girl. She'll be two in April, and just every time I look at my daughter, I do this for her. It's not just a job. It's a way of living. To me, there's a different type of person in the military. And that's just, it's a very prideful thing.